What's up everybody? Welcome back to yet another video of Channel Codex. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks with which you can create your splash effect or the ripple effect the right way so that it looks professional and i've also added this source code on a github so you can see yourself what are the mistakes in these files how it is giving the wrong ripple effect or not at all showing any effect and how you are going to fix that and all the items align properly so let's get started with today's video all right so here we are in the main file nothing fancy just material app which calls home page which is actually my menu this one is the first button with the red color this one is the second button which leads to the different page so we have just a simple navigation over there once you go inside the layout issue page right this one over here it has all the mistakes like uh, we have the gesture detector on this but there's no ripple effect and the second example that item has a splash but it is going behind the element and the divider doesn't look right it just looks ugly it doesn't look like a well-made application and there's a layout fixed page which contains all the issue result so what we are going to do we are going to focus on layout issue page and i will fix all those problems in here and this source code is available on a github as i said so you can go ahead and compare both the pages all right so let's open layout issue page over here so first thing first i have seen a lot of time that people use gesture detector and they wrap everything inside it to you know make it clickable but what happens you don't have any ripple effect you don't have any feedback from the application that this item is being clicked although this item is actually clicked if you pull up the debug console let me just do it right away clear everything and if i just click it you can see the custom card has been clicked click again it's clicked two times right so it's all about creating an application which gives a user perfect feedback and perfect experience not just it's doing the functionality it's doing its job right so it's working it's doing its job here but it doesn't give any feedback so first thing which you can do and i assume you might have guessed that replace the gesture detector with ink well okay now if you click you have this ripple effect which is not perfect but it is better than gesture detector now let's go ahead and make it perfect so first thing i'm going to do wrap this ink well with material like so and give the material transparent color this is important your material should have transparent color because you just want the features of material you don't want it to show on the layout okay and then if you click again it's the same one so to fix that we have to bring this container on top of material so first we wrapped inkwell with material and now we are going to bring this container properties on top of material so let's do that quickly i'm going to wrap this with container and let's say that i'm going to bring everything from here to here okay and then just see how does it look so the ripple effect came inside which is good but now ripple effect itself is having a padding so to fix that we need to remove this padding property from here okay and give it back to this container let's see now it is perfect so that's the trick overall your container top level container will have all the properties like margin decoration everything but on top of your main widget which you want to make it clickable you can just have a padding so that the splash is applied on your content as well as on an inkwell right and now because we just have a padding property instead of using container you can switch it back to padding let's see now it looks perfect but if you notice there's a small thing the splash is actually rectangular not the rounded rectangle so you can fix that easily just copy this border radius from here and give it to inkwell now if you click it looks just perfect isn't it and if you are not happy with this gray color of splash you can of course change the color let's say splash color colors dot red i'm just putting some dark color so that you can see the effect you see here you can 
play with all those a splash color, focus color, and how it spreads and everything is customizable. All right, so we are done with our first example. Let's collapse it and move to the second one, which is this list view over here. And it doesn't kind of look perfect to me. Like the splash is behind the item and it is going to the next element if you see closely. So it doesn't give a good experience again. How are we gonna fix it? The same trick, first thing we will wrap this inkwell with the material widget. Just like so, give it a color of transparent, colors.transparent. And next we have to move this container properties on top of material. So let's go ahead and wrap with container, right? And I will take this property from here and give it on top of material. So now it looks better than previous, but still we can improve. If you notice the splash is going below the line. So you can give this divider height of maybe one pixel, right? Like so. And if you want to increase your items height, you can always do that. So now you can see just with simple changes, we just added a material on top of Inkwell and added a container, which was uh, here previously and added all the properties on top of material. And our item is looking perfect. And generally speaking, uh, we have such kind of items, list item with the divider where the color is transparent or white. So uh, if you have a divider, of course, you're not going to have colors and all, right? Because if you have color, it's actually a card or something. So you'll not need divider. But just to showcase you, it looks even perfect now without color. But if, uh, for some reason, if your uh, app demands a color, you can anyways go like that. And you can even customize the color of your divider. So that's it for this video. I hope you people learn something new. And if you have, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe the channel if you're new here. And I'm really sorry that I'm not able to upload videos regularly. I'm trying really hard to come up with videos, share my experience with Flutter, uh, have some technical video, have some user interface uh, tips and tricks and all those kind of videos for you guys. If you have any other tips and tricks which you want to share with other developers, you're most welcome to do so in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, happy coding.